of the reminder email that had the picture of my mother and Marlene together back in 1977 when my mother was co-chair of women's division Marlene was an up-and-coming emerging leader and me I was a student in college same age as my youngest daughter as a matter of fact and I suspect in some ways, Marlene, that you knew my mother in many ways that I didn't, and maybe in fact in some better and different ways. Everyone here has had to work on a team or on a board of some kind, and we get to know people in a very intimate way. We're raising money together, we're doing events together. We are bound by a common philanthropic cause. And like my mom and like Marlene, they worked together side by side, giving them their hearts to something they truly believed in. I suspect my mother was a great listener, a patient person, and a hard worker. And I'm very proud of the work she did, the work that Marlene has done since. Their combined efforts have culminated in initiatives that continue today, initiatives that impact all our lives, as well as the lives of, of others in the community. So in as much as most of you know about Marlene's many accomplishments, I'm going to highlight some of them anyway. Marlene, along with her husband Art, has been an active leader and philanthropist in our community for decades. She was a past chair of women's philanthropy. She's been a successful and committed fundraiser for women's philanthropy for over 20 years and has served in various leadership roles in women's philanthropy. Among other roles at Federation, Marlene is a past mission chair and has been a part of numerous Federation missions. She has been a part of the Israel and World Jewry, Com excuse me, the Israel and World Jewry Commission, Community Relations Committee, Overseas Funding Committee, and Young Women's Leadership Development. Marlene has been an active supporter of Partnership Together and has hosted friends from Carmiel and Ms. Gov many times. Outside of Federation, Marlene has a long history of leadership in the community, serving on the boards of Beth Shalom, Community Day School, Jewish Family and Children Services, Hillel JUC, the Jewish Chronicle, and the Jewish Education Institute. Marlene has been honored in our community as the Federation's Austria Volunteer of the Year. Please join me in congratulating Marlene Silverman. with her knowledge, her warmth, her involvement in the Jewish community, and her dedication. She was such a wonderful role model for young leaders and others, and did so much for the Pittsburgh Jewish community, and hearing tonight about what she did for the blind, the whole community in general. I am so touched and very honored to be asked to accept this award in your mother's honor. Thank you so, so much. Being part of the women's philanthropy at the Federation has been a huge part of my life for many years. It has provided me with many opportunities to learn and to grow and to better myself. In the process, I have made such special friendships along the way with other volunteers as well as the incredible Federation staff. <coughs> it has made me feel very proud to play a small part in the important work that our Federation does to improve the quality of life of Jews and others in Pittsburgh, Israel, and around the world. I guess I'm just a gal who can't say no. <laughs> I must say that the more times I said yes and the more involved I became on agency boards and my Israel connections with Partnership 2000, which is now Partnership Together, P2G, my life was enriched. I have learned I have learned 
what one gives comes back tenfold. I'm very proud that my children have learned that value, and their children have it well as well. This has been an amazing weekend for me. On Saturday, our grandson Jonah celebrated his bar mitzvah and had in his tzedakah project was the Friendship Circle. Last night, we attended the Friendship Circle annual event, and two of our grandsons, Corey and Isaac, along with other volunteer high school seniors, were recognized